What's up, prize fighters? I'm Brian Tong, and the iPhone 6S is here. So to get you ready, it's a prize fight battle of the specs breakdown between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6S. Let's start off with the tail of the tape. It's their weight and dimensions. The iPhone 6S brings an ever so slightly larger size at 138.3 by 67.1 by 7.1 millimeters and a stronger 7000 series aluminum. It's just 0.1 or 0.2 millimeters bigger on different sides compared to the iPhone 6. Most cases should still fit both, and the 6S weighs in at 143 grams. That's 14 more grams than the iPhone, mostly because of its heavier display components. Now let's get to the screen. Both phones bring a 4.7 inch LED backlit IPS LCD screen at the same exact 650 by 1334 resolution for 326 pixels per inch density. But the 6S's 3D touch pressure sensitive screen is a hardware feature that no other major phone has and it's the flagship feature of this new phone with its reinforced glass. The iPhone 6S brings its 64-bit A9 processor and 2 gigs of RAM over the iPhone 6's A8 processor with only 1 gig of RAM with claims of 70% faster CPU performance and 90% faster graphics. The Geekbench benchmarks tell the story here with the 6S's single core score of 1811 over the iPhone 6's 1633 and a huge jump with the 6S's multi-core score of 4577 over the iPhone 6's 2920. Apple's Touch ID fingerprint scanner is twice as fast on the new 6S. Wireless connectivity has been improved with LTE advanced for data speeds twice as fast and improved Wi-Fi that doubles the speed as well compared to the iPhone 6. And we won't forget about one of the most important parts of a phone these days, the camera. The iPhone 6S brings an improved 12 megapixel camera compared to the 6's 8 megapixels, but the new camera now records 4K video and can take Apple's new live photos. And its front-facing FaceTime camera has been improved to 5 megapixels and uses the screen as a flash. Now the iPhone 6S brings a slightly smaller battery capacity with a 1715 milliampere hour battery compared to the iPhone 6's 1810 milliampere hours, but both bring the same 14 hour battery talk time. Internal storage capacities will stay the same at 16, 64, and 128 gigs, and pricing will vary depending on your carrier, your location, and if you're using Apple's iPhone upgrade program. So there you go, we've stacked up the major stats for you to consider, and yes, the next generation of a phone should be an improvement, but the iPhone 6S is arguably their biggest leap when it comes to the S line of their phones. Bottom line, if you're an iPhone user that's ready to upgrade, this one's a no-brainer.